hello guys and welcome back if you want to know how to make these these sweet roll that the kids would love stay tuned and keep on watching see how soft that is inside So guys, I went ahead and I warmed the milk slightly. It shouldn't be too hot, or otherwise it will kill the yeast. So we're going to begin by mixing our four tablespoons of sugar into the flour. So now we're going to mix Now we're going to make a hole in the middle. And we're going to put the milk in here and then we're going to be adding the yeast on top of it. This step is not necessary, but I find this gives me the best result. Next, we're going to just mix it around a little bit. And now we're going to be adding the two tablespoons of butter to it. we are going to be adding our eggs and then we're going to gradually bring in the dough from the side until it comes into a ball I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Just gradually mixing all the ingredients together.
so in, you might need some flour some extra flour for the kneading so just be sure to have that hand so now all the liquid have dried up just pull up your sleeves get some flour in your hands and get ready to knead it's not sticky it even started to rise and now you're going to butter this bowl or any bowl and put put it in the bowl and cover it with a tea towel and keep it for one hour okay so guys so after 30 minutes of leaving your dough rice in a warm place covered by it on with a tea towel it should be looking something like this as you guys can see it have double in size and even overflow in the bowl now we're going to knead it again You need to wash your hands if you want to help. Mm, so, I just wash my hands, you know. So Abby, I've come to help. Wash your I hands, just Abby. Wash my hands. Okay. Let me show you what you're going to do. So you're going to get some flour in your hands, and we're going to knead it again. So Abby, I've come to show you guys how to knead. Okay guys, you can't knead it too much or it, it won't rise properly. So as you can see, when I'm pushing it in, it's coming back out. That's a sign that it's finished and it don't need any more kneading. Now I can play with it. No, it's too big not to play with. No, play with this. Yeah. So Abby went ahead and made her own little picture. It says, Grams. it says, I need your love, I need the time, if you think that's wrong, I need it right, and over and over again. So now we're going to cut, get Can some I more help? flour. Oh! Yes, you're going to have your own ball. Drop your hands. Now, do you want that? And now we're starting with the fun bit because we're going to cut these into some smaller pieces and then fill them in with the meat. They don't leak out. No, so they look fancy or something. No, just so that they don't leak out. Okay guys, so these ones are finished and they're ready to go into the oven. The oven should be at 180 degrees and they are going to bake for about 30 minutes. So when they are finished, we'll be back to show you the result. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And if you like this kind of video, I'll be sure to keep posting more of them. See you guys in my next video.